In this tutorial, I'm going to help you to bypass the Google account protection, FRP, factory reset protection, if you have the Alcatel true. As you guys can see, I mean, this phone has been resetted before and now require the same Google account to bypass the activation screen, but you mainly forget or you bought this one from a Craigslist or eBay and you have no solution. So this video will offer you the solution to fix that problem and let you access to your phone with no any problems. But I'm just paying attention that this video helps the people they are fall in the trap of the Google bypass. So let's gonna find out how you bypass the Ocatil True. Mainly what you need to do, just follow my steps. First of all, go to the where you put the email and go to app buttons and just when you see the gear, push and go to Google keyboard settings and then go to text correction, then personal dictionary and then go English and then go to the plus. Type any word you want and let's gonna type Google for instance and then just go to the uh, search button over here on the top and then from here just type G and go to Google voice typing and then go to uh, you you have to go text speech input and then you will see a gear button over here next to the Google text speech press on this and go to install voice data just hit on this and then you will see three dots over here and then go open source license and wait a little bit make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi because you need to use the web in this process and hold in any of the word like that and you will see this search button once you push this one this should take you to the Google now now while you are in Google now you need to just type Chrome and go to the Chrome browser over here and go to the top make sure to google.com okay so very much you are in Google now just delete Google and type quick shortcut APK same as here go ahead and search I would highly recommend to go to the quick shortcut on apk20.com if you find this one will be great and then we need to scroll down where we can find the way to download the APK file okay you will see the APK somewhere over here there we go as you guys can see and then you will need to look for download APK now it should pop over here so you have to say okay go ahead and download it sometimes it give you a pop over here but if it doesn't give you a pop to open don't worry just go back I want to show you where you can get that in case if this that it did not work for you just go back to Google now here we go so if you are here just go file manager here we go so you are in file manager over now here. you should be able to see the download the application that we just downloaded over here go ahead and open the application say once and then we'll ask you to go to the settings go ahead and go to the settings and just enable the unknown source and then go back and reinstall the application and it should reinstall this is very important so we need to have the quick shortcut maker open so we have it open over here go ahead and open the application and let me try to zoom in now here where you can type you have to type uh, Google account see this we will see Google account manager I'm sorry for the reflection here okay then you have to to press on it and then you have to go type email and password and then say try and this should take you to this 
screen. Now you will see three dots in the top. Just go ahead and say sign in and then hit OK. And then you have to put the Gmail account. Now the Gmail account, not necessary to be the first one because you forgot the first one. You have to use any other Gmail account you have either by creating one or just uh, use the, the other one if you have another one. Now for security reasons, I'm gonna just escape this part because I don't wanna anybody see my email and just and then we come back to you to show you the next now step. after you put your gmail it will ask you for the password so make sure to put the right password and say sign in and it's going to start signing in and then it will take you back to the screen so what you have to do right now go ahead and restart your phone we're going to restart the phone and we're going to find out what is going to happen we'll come back to you now we back to the activation screen make sure you are connected to wi-fi It's going to start doing check connection. It will ask you to wait about two minutes. Sometimes takes two minutes, sometimes doesn't. We have to be patient in this uh, step. Now say updating and shows us that the account is added because we already added another account instead the old one. They will tell you just a second then you can go ahead and escape everything. Escape. Now either to continue using the phone or you can technically do a factory reset for the phone because you already log in with your Gmail account. But for me, I would prefer to go ahead and factory reset the phone. That way, you'll be sure 100% that you have deleted your Gmail account. The, G the factory reset could take for 20 minutes or more. So we're going to skip this part and come back to you after we've done the factory reset. And after that, we're going to be sure 100% that the Gmail account has been clear and clean with no gmail account for the previous one anymore we'll come back to you finally after 20 minutes doing factory reset we have it done so go ahead and try to skip everything right now and see if they're gonna take you to the activation screen without the google account anymore and then just hit skip skip as you guys have seen uh, the the phone did not ask me for gmail account anymore that was very much it for that video i wish you guys find the video very helpful for you if you have the all cut it true this is how you bypass the google account subscribe more contents and value to stick thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you in my next one